Today during the episode, I'm going to be drinking Odin's Eye from Nordic Moon Meadery. I like that they come in these individual serving bottles and at a mere 15% alcohol, you can enjoy a few of them in a row. Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, and really any question you're willing to send to me. Our first question this week comes from Mikomo82. He wants to know if I would use a stir plate for my degassing to lower the risk of oxidation. And the answer is, no, I would not, because it sounds more complicated than shaking the bucket. Our next question comes from Sage, who wants to know how we keep the nitrogen bubbles in Coffee Chaos in the can, and the answer is we don't. The nitrogen comes to the head of the can, and then before we serve it, we have to turn it upside down, and then back, and then back a couple times, and then we crack it. And if it's me doing it on air, it always ends poorly. I always nail it at home, but when the cameras are rolling... The next question comes from Comissarius, who wants to know, why all of my meads are in the beer-like alcohol level? Is it because I'm targeting the beer market and not the wine market? And the answer is, you nailed it! Some people have a theory that the reason my ABVs are lower is because I don't like high alcohol content, honey wines? Obviously not the case. Guten Tag, Benna. Our next question comes from Germany. Benna wants to know, why do we recommend you add citrus in the secondary but many other fruits in the primary? And the reason is most other fruits represent 10 to 15% of the sugar content of your mead, but citrus tends to be down in the 1 to 4% range. So since you have more, say, cranberry or kiwi, you have more flavor in there to begin with, and the little bit of yeast scrubbing you get during primary fermentation won't wash out all the flavor. The citrus, however, can get just scrubbed away by the yeast, and all you get is a very slight residual, almost pine saw like smell. Our last question comes from Levi, who was making a Boucher, and it was supposed to be 17% alcohol, but it stopped at 3%. He even has a high alcohol tolerance yeast. Do I have any idea what happened? The answer is, if you stopped at 3% and you were shooting for 17 my first guess would be, maybe you took your readings wrong? Other than that, I don't know where to point you, man. That's, that's pretty wild. Well, that was our last question this week. Sorry I couldn't help with it, but keep sending your questions, and I will do just as good a job with them. Cheers.